time today. If you missed our Filipino American History Month, we were able to broadcast this film, The Hidden Dream, and that was courtesy of our filmmakers who are joining us today in the studio. Kasama natin si Sheila and John Imi, and we're talking about their work and uh, what they learned from making this documentary. John, what did you learn from making this film? I guess what I learned the most is that there's a hunger in the in the younger generation to know about the heroes, and there's a little bit of uh, resentment may be too strong of a word, but there's a little bit of confusion why they haven't been told that. And uh, who's to blame, John? Who's to blame? Well, the the narrator, um, Dr. Shh. Nadal, mm -hmm. uh, he mentioned that sometimes the pain is so great that you suppress it. And so he mentioned the fact that if you see your four-year-old child or your four-year-old grandchild killed, you suppress that and you don't want to relive it, you know. And so they then don't talk to their parents and then their parents don't pass the message down to the current generation. And um, the other thing, too, that I learned is that one of the young persons says that the Filipino community is kind of like... Uh, Chameleon, chameleons, chameleons, you know, the, mm -hmm. the thing that changes we all the time. We blend in anywhere we go. Yeah, and so maybe there's a deliberate or subconscious effort not to highlight their strengths because they don't want to bring attention to themselves. They want to just be part of a general community. Mm -hmm. But the young people now, they want to know their strengths. So that's another thing I learned from that. Interesting. Sheila, ikaw, anong natutunan mo habang ginagawa mo yung pelikulang to? I, I notice that um, each one of us has a story, a special story to tell. And it's just quite a blessing to find uh, these special people that are willing to tell the story and touch us. So um, John and I have been very blessed to be able to meet these people. And I, I'm very inspired and encouraged um, that uh, we can do this. We can, it doesn't need, it, it doesn't require a, a, a lot of, um, what do I say? Equipment. Equipment. Um, yes, to tell our just, stories. Exactly. I mean, really, when you think about it, we can talk to our lolos, our lolas. We just need to open up the communication paths in our family to talk about our past and right. to learn our story. And just like you, Sheila, I feel equally as blessed every single day to be able to do this job because I get to tell our story here in America. And there's just, there's not enough outlets to tell our story our Filipino-American story. So I feel blessed to be able to meet people like you who allow us to showcase work like this because not a lot of us do it. So I salute both of you this week, especially for Veterans Day, for the work that you've done for The Hidden Dream. I thank you so much. Thanks for having us. All right, well, um, one last message to our Kababayans if they would like to get a copy of The Hidden Dream. Um, we actually have a blog. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called Lilies and Ravens that wordpress.com mm -hmm. and uh, they can uh, find um, information about the DVDs we released as well as um, writings by me and John. So I hope that um, uh, that will be helpful for... Mm -mm. Uh, Magkano kung gusto nilang bilhin yung DVD? Um, it's actually, um, we ask for donation. There's wow, no, donation based. That's uh, amazing. So there's no uh, set amount of money. Okay. If they are willing um, to contribute uh, an amount, it's... Um, we would be willing to just give it to them. I John, mean, really? Yeah, I mean, at least the at purpose. least have them pay for shipping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. But other than that, um, if they, if, like Sheila's saying, if they make a donation, that's fine. Um, but if they want it for their family, if they want it for their children, that that's, was the whole purpose of it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, mga kababayan, I highly encourage you to, if you have not seen uh, the work that Sheila and John have done for uh, this documentary called The Hidden Dream, please 
uh, not just because it's not Filipino American History Month anymore, but I mean, this is relevant until today, and most especially this week as we celebrate Veterans Day. Mga kababayan, let's watch an excerpt of the trailer of The Hidden Dream. For my father and mother to be four years old and running through fields with Japanese bombs flying in the air. This stench fell. Uh, we, 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 we smelled the stench of the dead bodies all throughout the camp. What did the Japanese do to spies? Oh, they cut their head. More than 60,000 Americans and 300,000 Japanese had died. More than one million Filipinos perished, the majority of them civilians. An American general visiting Manila immediately after the Japanese surrender said that of all the cities which suffered in World War II, it was Manila which endured the greatest destruction. We have always considered ourselves as U.S. veterans, and so we expected us to be treated the same as U.S. veterans. But when the Recession Act was passed, and they considered us as that part of the U.S. Army, then that is, was when we felt that there was much injustice. We should be considered also U.S. veterans because we were U.S. nationals. And that's the gist of our, our crusade. So on behalf of Kababayan today, Sheila, maraming maraming salama. John, thank you so much for all the work that you've done. And uh, thank you for joining us today. Okay, thank, thank you. Thank you, G. All right, uh, magbabalik po kami. Kasama natin si Nilo Alcala.